Let's get another check on our forecast right now with Kelly Zanandri. I know it's cloudy out there, but it's not going to last for long this week, right? It's not. We just have to get through today, Michelle, but very cool, unsettled, wet weather as we kick off this work week. A view from our city cam at I-70 at Evergreen Parkway. Already seen some wet snow flurries fly there. Nothing really sticking to the roads yet because it's still too warm, 48 degrees, but we'll slowly see this creep into the Denver metro area later this afternoon. Temperatures on the cooler side for this Monday after a very pleasant weekend. Currently 46 in Central Park, 44 in Greenwood Village, and 42 in Highlands Ranch on this Monday afternoon. This cool, wet weather is all thanks to a cold front that passed through earlier this morning. That's going to bring with it those snow and rain showers to the metro area later today, as well as the cooler temperatures as we kick off the work week and month of April. On the first alert, satellite and radar already seen some snow develop in the high country right along I-70, seeing that snow up through Evergreen. And we'll start to see those rain showers creep into the Denver metro area with a passing shower in Boulder at this hour. We do have some winter weather alerts. The bulk of the heavy snow is going to stay down in the southern mountains. So we have these through tomorrow morning where we can see up to 15 inches of snow on the higher peaks and passes. So if you're Traveling along Wolf Creek Pass, definitely plan for some extra time because with all the snow and very breezy conditions expected, we could see some difficult travel down in the southern mountains, especially through the San Juans. Throughout the north and central mountains, not expecting much snow from this system, anywhere from one to four inches in the north and central mountains. And then here in the Denver metro area, most of what we're going to see is rain. Some of this rain in the immediate Denver area will change over to snow. But we're expecting little to no accumulation here. Now, when you get down into the southern suburbs, the western suburbs, that's where we could pick up a couple of inches of accumulation on the grassy surfaces. And then in the foothills, as we push to the west, we could see up to four to six inches of accumulation. So as we go to the west, a little bit more, but most of this in the metro area will just be rain. Few of those rain showers could change over to snow as things cool off later tonight. So let's tame time things out for you on the future cast. This afternoon, we'll see those rain showers push in, mainly after dark as temperatures fall we could see some of that rain change over to snow, so we may see a few flurries. And if you're about and about this afternoon and this evening, you will encounter some wet roadways through tomorrow morning. You could see those wet roadways. Then we'll see the system clear out, leaving behind dry, mild conditions for your Tuesday. But first, we have to get through today with these chillier temperatures. We'll be in the 40s in the metro area, eastern plains, 30s and 40s in the mountains, with 50s out on the western slope. In your neighborhood in Lyons Day, 46, 39 in Jamestown, and in Jefferson County, we'll see 40s from Arvada down through Lakewood today with 37 degrees in Genesee. On the super seven day forecast, just gets better and better. Today, 45 with those showers likely. Tomorrow, we jump 10 degrees into the upper 50s. On Wednesday, 68 degrees. And then on Thursday, we could see our first 70 degree day of the season into Friday. The weather stayed nice for the Rockies home opener. Plenty of sunshine and then temperatures cool slightly for the weekend, Michelle, into the 60s. All right, Callie looks good.